Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? We're selling lemonade. Do you want to buy a cup? We're raising money for summer camps. Yeah. Uh, uh, but this is a sidewalk outside of a private business. Do you have a permit to be here? What's a permit? Ah, I bet you don't have a license, a business license either. Business license? And I'm guessing you're not collecting sales taxes, unemployment taxes. You guys better get out of here before I call the cops. <laughs> I own the soda vending machine here in the office building. I can't have those kids cutting in my profits. Good old American protectionism is working really well for me. And besides, I taught those kids an important lesson in business. Good morning, everyone. Just as a reminder, I'm gonna be out of the office after today for my annual beekeepers convention. Connor, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. We just got this important letter from the county assessor's office. What does it say? The State Tax Commission will be conducting an audit of your company this week for tangible personal property tax compliance. What? Let me see that. Tangible personal property tax? What the heck is that? That sounds made up. This must be a prank. Amanda, are you trying to pull something on us again? Me? No, I promise I have nothing to do with this. On the contrary, the tangible personal property tax has existed for hundreds of years. In fact, it used to be more than just an extra business tax. Every homestead had to pay the tax every year on equipment, livestock, the mortgage. Michael, stop right there. I already have a headache. How come I haven't ever heard about this before? The fact is, I give Connor filled out tax forms every single year to file with the county assessor, but he just takes them and makes paper airplanes. <sighs> it's all falling apart, and I was going to have the honorary honey bath this year. What did you say? No, no, forget it. Property tax. So it's an annual tax on business supplies and equipment. It says an item of taxable, tangible, personal property bleh, means equipment, machinery, furniture, or other tangible personal property that is functioning at its highest and best use, blah, 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 for the purpose it was designed and constructed. Personal property is valued using a classification system. Schedules identify various types of personal property and provide a percent good of acquisition costs for commercial personal property. This is making my brain hurt. Supplies are to be valued and assessed at total cost, including all office supplies, shipping supplies, maintenance supplies, replacement parts, and lubricating substances. Oh, this tax just got weird. Oh, look here, Connor. Tangible personal property is exempt if the property has a total aggregate fair market value of $15,000 or less. Wait, what? Really? There's no way all this crap we have is worth more than $15,000. I wouldn't pay anywhere near that to buy our company. Sweet! <laughs> okay, I think the best way we go about doing this is every department handles the things in your area, make an account of that, add it into the Google spreadsheet that I've created. No, hey, then... everyone, everyone, ignore what she's saying. We don't need to do any of that anymore, okay? What are you talking about, Connor? Well, we don't have more than $15,000 worth of stuff. We can just claim an exemption. I don't know about that. My vocal cords alone are worth a lot more than $15,000. Connor, I think you'd be surprised just how easy it is for a business to accumulate more than $15,000 in personal property. <laughs> okay, boomer. Connor, just because you think we have less than $15,000 worth of personal property doesn't change the fact that we have to account for each item of property. What? Ugh. Whatever. I think the accounting department needs to make sure we're complying with this audit correctly. No, no, no. This is too important for that. I'm going to be in charge. Connor, you're only going to screw things up and make things a lot worse than they have to be. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm going to be in charge and that's final. Most people don't realize that this tax affects small businesses and small goods businesses. What, you think because my name is James that I'm an idiot? They never taught me about tangible personal property taxes when I took accounting at BYU. Hey Michael, are you heading up counting all the paper? No, why would I do that? For the tangible personal property tax, we gotta count up all the paper. So you're saying I should count up each individual piece of paper? Well, yeah. We print on individual pieces of paper, not by the ream. We gotta know how much there is. You wanna do it right, don't you? 
Well, of course I want to do it right. Guess you got work to do. Personally, I don't mind taxes. It determines who's rich, who's poor, who's dumb, and who's smart. Because if you pay taxes, you're dumb. I've been thinking about starting a medical cannabis farm in my desk drawer. You can learn more about it at shantsfarms.pot. I've been locked in this room shipping Tuttle Twins books every day for the past 10 months. Josh, have you finished counting up those staplers yet? Uh, um, I was told we didn't have to do that until next week, and um, uh, I still haven't received my paycheck yet. Cut! Josh, no. wrong uh, office! That's my stapler. I've got to transfer to another office. So here's our tangible personal property tax filing. Wait till the auditor gets a load of this. Hey there, Mr. Auditor. I don't think you're going to find anything wrong in our tax filing. Uh, what's this? It's our tangible personal property tax filing. Everything's in order. Uh, you know you killed a tree, don't you? We've got an online filing system. It's a whole lot more convenient these days. God, dang it. Well? Um, you know, you tracked a whole lot of items that just don't matter. Anything that's not critical to your business that costs less than $150 is exempt. Uh, really? In fact, for a business your size, you'd probably only pay about $100 a year in business personal property taxes. But why can't I just write a check for $100 to the government and be done with all this nonsense? Hey, it looks like you did a ton of work this year. Don't forget to file next. Gosh dang it. Ugh. Good work, everyone. Can't complain about another day wasted not doing actual work. Talk about insane. I don't think I've seen anything like this in my entire experience. But if they think this is bad, just wait till the sales tax audit next month. Today's just another testament to my hardworking, can-do attitude. I'd rather overpay and overwork to comply with taxes. Besides, what's a person going to do with all that extra money anyway? Hire a new employee, buy a copier, invest in expanding your business? Not me. Five million seven hundred thousand nine hundred and thirty three, five million seven hundred thousand nine hundred and thirty four, five million seven hundred thousand nine hundred and thirty five.